हाई एवरी वन वेलकम इन डेंटल जोन टूडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक सेलाइवा सेलाइवा एंड इट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट एंड इट्स फंक्शन आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी विल स्टार्ट सो होप यू विल इंजॉय अ लॉट सो नाउ बिगिन द टॉपिक सेलाइवा एंड इट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट एंड फंक्शंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज द वॉट इज सेलाइवा सो सेलाइवा इज एन एक्वस फ्लूड फाउंड इन द ओरल कैविटी प्लेइंग ए फंडामेंटल रोल इन प्रिजर्वेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ ओरल हेल्थ सेलाइवा हैज एन एंटी बैक्टीरियल फीचर एंड दे आर चीफली प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द मेजर एंड द माइनर सेलाइवरी ग्लैंड they they are producing by these glands and we all know what are they uh, like parotid gland sub mandibular sub lingual and minor salivary gland so chief secretory uh, cells that produced by these glands the part of composition of saliva uh, this is taken from a standard book uh, 99% water 1% inorganic iron and secretory proteins and uh, uh, main electrolyte that is sodium potassium calcium chloride bicarbonate and phosphate these are the main electrolytes and other electrolytes uh, like magnesium sulfate fluorine thiocyanate and iodine these are the uh, other electrolyte that found in saliva and uh, organic substances uh, amylase amylase has a big role uh, uh, to digestion and uh, ribonuclease calacrine esterase nystatin cysteine peroxidase lysozyme uh, we all uh, familiar about the lysozyme lactoferrin and acid phosphatase so all are discuss one by one what is the functions um, in saliva uh, and these enzymes uh, we are discussing later and other organic substance like clotting factor amino acids urea glucose lipids and hormones they are participating a role um, in saliva and immunoglobulins we all heard about the immunoglobulins iga is uh, in large amount found in saliva and uh, a small amount that is igg and igm is also found and apart from their composition the oral cavity that contain the saliva and uh, this saliva is known as the whole saliva and what is whole saliva so uh, it contains disquamated oral epithelial cells microorganism and their products leukocytes serum constituent and the fluid from the gingival crevices and food remnants so whole saliva is the mixture of all ingredients that present in the oral cavity and now we are discussing here what is the total volume of saliva so the total volume of saliva uh, uh, there are great uh, variations uh, in some books uh, but here we reference about the uh, orbans and um, in according to that uh, the total volume of saliva is 750 2000 ml per day this is the total volume of saliva so the total volume of saliva uh, is secreted by their glands and here the distribution of percentage of secretion by their glands uh, like sub mandibular gland it secretes approximately 60% of total volume of the saliva and the parotid glands it secretes uh, 30% and sublingual glands it secretes uh, 5% of the total volume and uh, rest of the part that is secreted by the minor salivary gland approximately 1% uh, secretion occurs by the minor salivary gland now uh, we come over the uh, part of what is the flow rate of saliva flow rate of whole saliva is 0.2 to 0.4 ml 
per minute 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 whereas uh, uh, by parotid gland it is 0.4 ml per minute and by submandibular gland it is 0.1 ml per minute this is the uh, flow rate of saliva but when uh, the gland is stimulated then the uh, salivary uh, flow rate also increases from 0.2 to 0.4 uh, ml per minute and um, uh, that time the parotid gland secretion is 1 to 2 ml per minute and 0 0.8 ml per minute for submandibular salivary gland this is the flow rate of saliva now what is the nature of saliva um, the parotid gland secretes a watery nature of saliva that is rich in enzymes such as amylase uh, uh, proline rich proteins and glycoproteins these are the enzymes that is mostly secreted by the parotid gland and what is the uh, submandibular salivary gland secretion uh, this is uh, also contain the higher uh, proportion of glycosylated substance such as mucine is secreted by submandibular salivary gland and the sublingual gland it also secretes viscous nature of saliva so these are the nature of saliva, uh, saliva that is produced pro pro produced by their respective glands now uh, after the nature we will discuss here what is the ph of saliva uh, it varies between 6.4 4 to 7.4 and for the parotid uh, there is great variation uh, and it stands between the 6 to 7.8 this is the ph of saliva and after ph uh, here uh, we discuss uh, what is the functions of saliva and this is very very important uh, uh, for exam part uh, here one by one uh, we discuss about their functions so First of all, the protection of the oral cavity, digestion, mastication and deglutition, test perception, speech, tissue repair and excretion. These are the functions of saliva and uh, they play uh, a big role to maintain the integrity of the oral cavity. Uh, now, one by one, uh, we discuss here about their functions. So, protection of the oral cavity and oral environment. Uh, first of all, uh, we know uh, the oral cavity is moist and it uh, this moist nature prevents the oral cavity from desiccation and uh, the, uh, the salivary uh, fluid like nature provides a washing action of uh, food debris that stick to our teeth and so uh, the fluid like nature of saliva that provides a washing action and it flushes away mm, the food debris and the non adherent bacteria uh, and in absence of this um, oral mucosa get degenerate and atrophic so it plays a big role and the mucin and other glycoproteins they are heavier in molecular weight and it moist the oroesopharyngeal tract mucin uh, and other glycoproteins they provide lubrication for the movement of the oral tissue against each other allowing a smooth and sliding movement they are uh, also a major role of mucin and the uh, primary buffering system of saliva is bicarbonate and it is also contributed by um, uh, phosphate and um, this bicarbonate is a main buffering system of saliva and it protects the mucosa from chemical and thermal insult by lowering the temperature metabolism of the salivary proteins and peptides it provides urea and ammonia and what is the uh, role of urea and ammonia it helps to increase the ph and this helps in maintaining the high ph which is not conducting for karyogenic bacteria to survive salivary proteins satherin and certain uh, proline rich proteins that bind to the tooth surface and forming the acquired enamel pellicle and that resulting super saturation of the calcium and phosphate that reduces the dissolution 
एंड प्रमोट्स रिमिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ द टूथ एनामेल ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द टूथ ए हाई कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड फॉस्फेट कॉज इज पोस्ट इरप्टिव मैचुरेशन एंड रेसिस्टेंस टू डिमिनरलाइजेशन ऑफ द एनामेल आफ्टर द प्रोलिन रिच प्रोटीन्स देयर इज एंजाइम दैट इज द पर ऑक्सीडेज दैट सिक्रिटेड बाई द एसिनर सेल्स दीज आर द एसिनर सेल्स एंड दे सिक्रिट्स पर ऑक्सीडेज एंड दिस पर ऑक्सीडेज एंजाइम वेन कम्बाइंड विथ द थायोसाइनेट दैट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द डक्टल सिस्टम एंड बोथ कम्बाइंड टूगेदर एंड फॉर्म अ बैक्टेरिसाइडल सिस्टम and uh, apart from this bactericidal system we have a protein that is the uh, lysozyme and we all heard about the lysozyme and this uh, role of lysozyme is that it lyses um, the bacterial cell wall it lyses the bacterial cell wall and and resulting cell lysis Uh, the other uh, antioxidant defense mechanism is also present in saliva that is uric acid and ascorbic acid they provide the antioxidant defense mechanism and it helps in reducing the oxidative stress and it maintains the oral integrity uh, apart from the antioxidant property we have also defensive substance in saliva that is known as the immunoglobulins and the uh, major component of immunoglobulin iga is uh, present in large amount and a small amount of igg and igm is also detected in the saliva uh, another bactericidal substance is uh, found in saliva that is lactoferrin and the antiviral agent that is also present in saliva mainly uh cystine cystatin mucins and immunoglobulins they are present in saliva uh, apart from antiviral antibacterial antifungal action is also present in saliva and it is excreted by histatins chromogranin a and immunoglobulin so uh, here we see there is antibacterial antiviral and antifungal thrice action act in saliva uh now after the protection of saliva we come over the part of digestion uh the digestion uh is a um, very very important role played by the enzyme amylase the total amylase protein is 20 to 30 percent that found in the oral cavity and the action of amylase is digestion of carbohydrate and um, the amylase on act on the ingested carbohydrate to produce glucose and maltose and begins in the mouth and continues up to 30 minutes in the stomach before the inactivation of the amylase by proteolysis and acidic ph so this is the major role of amylase to digest digestion of carbohydrate after the amylase uh, lingual lipase it is also play a role um, to digestion of dietary lipids and it hydrolyzing triglyceride to monoglyceride and diglyceride and fatty acids so this is the role of saliva in digestion now uh, we come over the part of mastication and deglutition uh, the moistening and lubricating properties of saliva allow the formation of bolus and facilitate deglutition uh, and apart from mastication and deglutition taste perception is also uh, present in saliva and this this is due to the water and lipokaline these are present in the saliva and they produce taste perception and speech is a um, main function of saliva uh, because uh, they uh, um, they provide the oral cavity moist and lubricated which, which facilitate the speech and tissue repair tissue repair um, the growth factor um, that is uh, trio um, the growth factor and the protein trio foil uh, which provide um, uh, differentiation uh, and tissue growth and also promote wound healing
apart from uh, these uh, excretion is also a, a function of saliva uh, excretion uh, there are uh, many drugs uh, uh, that excreted through the uh, saliva um, via gingival crevices in the oral cavity um, the drug that is m mostly excreted uh, uh, by uh, saliva is metronidazole uh, this uh, uh, drug uh, has a great significance in our uh, gingiva and uh apart from uh, the drug uh, reach to their uh, uh, gingival crevices there is also infectious agent that also reach in the oral cavity via the gingival crevices uh, it is mainly true for the hepatitis v virus so this this is all about the function of saliva uh, after uh, the uh, the function of uh, saliva there is uh, also use of uh, saliva uh, for diagnostic purpose like uh, uh, sialochemistry of saliva uh, it so sialochemistry it is a, a big diagnostic uh, purpose use uh, that is it is valuable in uh, diagnosing the disease like uh, cystic fibrosis jogren syndrome and certain infectious disease associated with h pylori like uh, peptic ulcer disease and uh, chronic gastritis and saliva can also be used to monitor progesterone level to find the ovulation time in female and uh, this is a big role uh, nowadays and the level of testosterone insulin mm, steroids can be estimated in saliva by sialochemistry hormonal level of estrion and estradiol it um, is also uh, known by uh, this use of uh, sialochemistry uh, to give information about the fet fetal growth so this is all about the saliva its constituent and its function uh, in other video we will continue its clinical consideration uh, so guys uh, we hope uh, uh, you like my video if you like please share and subscribe my channel thank you very much